if I have that face and if I'm serious, I'm like in it, like you won't stop me. Like I'm, I'll just go all out. That's a good movie. That's how you win games. But okay, please, please, Jackie. Our, our next, next question, please. Can you give the viewers a game face look? All right. Is she single? Yeah. Well, what, what is it? I, I don't know. Pan Am's is weird, man. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the TLZ Podcast. Before we get started today, make sure you smash that like button and the subscribe button down below and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of this awesome content. I also want to mention that we are going to have a special event coming up that everyone can participate in. It will probably be announced soon on our Instagram, so make sure to follow that using the link in the description down below. All right, now let's jump into the podcast today. Uh, She was recently crowned the U19 Women's Singles Champion in the 2022 Junior Pams. Let's welcome to the show, Jackie Dent. Hey, Jackie. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. I know you're super busy with uh, training these days. Like you said, you trained six hours today just now. Um, yeah, we have be, camp this week. Yeah. yeah, it must be exhausting. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you just finished. So yeah, we had, we had to, uh, you know, get Jackie on this week. And, you know, I was wondering, when did you, because obviously you just won the gold medal, right? And uh, you're obviously a really good badminton player right now. But when did you realize that, like, wow, I'm real, I'm a really good badminton player, you know? When did you realize that? I don't know. I think I kind of, like, hit a peak, kind of, like, in 2018. Like, I was always, like, a really small player. But then just, like, as I got a lot stronger, I kind of just started. Like, I don't, like, see myself as really good. But then once, like, my results were, like, I kept getting gold. I kept winning everything. I kind of realized, oh, like, I'm pretty good. I'm like not just mm-hmm. like typical nice nice i mean everybody gets that stretch right after a while oh by the way if you guys are hearing the dogs barking it's uh jackie's in her uh, coach's house right now so they have like two dogs so that's why so don't worry about it but yeah just uh, some background information but anyway um that's uh, really awesome you know and obviously you're in everybody's eyes now and everybody sees you as a champion and in 2016 you know you mentioned before you know when we were talking that a girl once talked trash to you in a uh, pro- provincial tournament what happened like it wasn't like complete trash but she just like walked up to me he's like oh are you like jackie whatever i was like yeah it's like are you even any good and stuff and then <laughs> i was like i'm okay whatever and then i think i beat her like two and three because she just kept talking and talking and i just couldn't and she's like oh, oh she- you're pretty good like after i won she's like oh you're not bad i was like <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, she she kept talking during the game? No, no, no. Like before the game. She just like walked up to me. Is like, "Are you any good?" And I was just like, oh. "What the heck?" Dang. <laughs> like, she, I don't know. Dang. <sighs> that's fine. that's crazy. But I mean, at least you beat her pretty bad. That's the good part. Yeah, I was the first seed of the tournament. I didn't understand what she was thinking. Like, I'm seated for a reason. Like, uh, I don't she know. don't know what she's talking about. Anyway, <laughs> Um, you also played in the 2018 Junior Nationals, right, where you played Sophia Nong in the finals. Why was that experience memorable for you? It was just memorable because, like, ever since I was a kid, I was always, like, losing to her and stuff. She's always, like, the bigger person on the court, I guess. And that was, like, the first time I beat her. And it was just, like, such a big win for me because after that, I kind of felt I, – I, like, I kept winning after that. Like, each year, I, my results were getting better and better. It was, like, a peak, I guess, like, the breaking mm. point. I see. I see. And, you know, that's probably when also, you know, you realized like before that question, you know, you realized you were starting to be at the top of your league. Right. And really taking the lead in, in your age group. And uh, now let's move on. T- talking about taking the lead. Let's move on to junior Pan Am. This year's junior Pan Ams, Right. Uh, you won the gold medal in the U19 women singles, which is definitely like your biggest accomplishment so far. Right. And um, how did you feel going into that tournament? And what was your goal? Uh, my goal was honestly just to try and get a medal just because in previous years, like it wasn't really going too well, I guess. Going to the tournament, my main thing was just like, don't choke. <laughs> it was just get past <laughs> quarters. Like it was like, I don't know. I was just, like trying my best, try and like show people like what my level actually is. Cause I never played mm-hmm. to my level in previous years. And it's just, I don't know. It wasn't very good. 
Mm -hmm. That's actually uh, leading up to my next question, because, you know, we did talk beforehand and you mentioned that you would always choke in the quarters in Pan Ams for singles. And uh, how did you feel going into your quarters game this year? Honestly, I think the round before quarters scared me more because I played the first seed in like the second round, like round of 16. And I got really lucky in that game. It was like 19 all second. I lost first game. I hit like this trick shot. Like she neck killed and I spun 360 and I hit it back. And I won the game, and then third game I won e- more easily. But the quarters game definitely like it scared me a bit, but I wasn't as nervous for it as I mm. thought I'd be. I see. Were you thinking was, before the game like this is quarters? Uh, <laughs> I was more confident just because it was a Canadian player. Because usually I play like a hard U.S. person in quarters, or I play someone that's just like I know it's a winnable game, and I just choke. Whoa, but, whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean she's Canadian and it's a winnable game? It's because I played her so much this year, okay? I, I, okay, I felt okay. more confident. We'll, we'll give you a pass in. on that. We'll give you a pass on that. And, uh, wow, that, I mean, it must have been great winning the quarters, right? Like, well, how did you feel after you won it? Like, oh, my God, I finally broke the streak, right? I was just happy I finally got a medal. I was like, finally, like, it's just like <laughs> the streak's over. It's whatever. I don't know. Right, right, right. And uh, after you moved on to semis you actually played a really tough match against uh ella lynn right in the semis and you guys played for nearly an hour i saw the time was like 53 (laughs) minutes however yeah uh, i want to ask you what that game was like but also you lost in the second set 21 9 like the stream cut out no one saw what i did (laughs) how did that happen like how did that happen uh she kind of just figured out what i was doing like first game i kept the same strategy for most of it and then second she like the bird got really fast and then she started short serving everything and i just kept making a bunch of mistakes Mm, i see yeah but then third game i used her strategy basically i started short serving everything (laughs) and then she started panicking so i I don't know like i played more calm third were you pretty tired after that game I was more excited than anything. I was more tired after my Mexican game, like the first seed girl. Oh, Ella's okay. game, I was just really like pumped up the whole time because it was like the like, I had such a big crowd behind it too, and it was mm-hmm. just like I don't know, felt good the whole time. So. Everybody wanted you to get it because you finally broke the streak in your quarters <laughs> game. Nice, and yeah. um, you know, moving on to the finals, you had to go up against Chloe Huang, right? And You've had some bad experiences playing her before because you would lose. I think you, you lost her twice when she was leading nine. I mean, when you were leading 1912. So what was the What was the like, how did your past experience playing against her affect you going into the game? Honestly, I don't know. I wasn't as nervous in the Pan Am finals just because I knew it's like I already got the medal. It was kind of just play. But I wasn't thinking about it too much. It was actually 1912 both games in game one and two in Pan Ams. And it's mm-hmm. like, she didn't really get any points after, like, whatever happened. But, I don't know. I felt better in Pan Ams, but, yeah. I see. I mean, you broke a lot of streaks, I mean, in this Pan Ams, and you showed a lot of growth, right? And what now that Pan Ams is over and you're starting training again, what do you think you are the be- – like, what do you think you are best at on the court, and what do you think you need to work on the most? I think one of my best things, like – people like a lot of people saw it was just like my spirit on the court like I'm always very like energetic and like aggressive and like very I don't know my attacking is really strong like Mm -hmm. that yeah I don't know (laughs) um (laughs) yeah I see I mean you know okay I didn't ask this in the actual like podcast because we actually have a lot of viewers who ask about your um your face uh during uh (laughs) that's Adrian that's all Adrian it is Adrian. It is Adrian. I'll say that, but I'm looking for, forward to the answer for that one, but that'll be in the viewer's question. So you, you'll probably notice that there's actually not a lot of questions this time for Jackie, like in the uh, main podcast, because there's so many questions for, from the viewers. So that's probably why, but we'll move on with the podcast um, right now. And, um, you know, after that, who do you, who do you, I just want to know, who do you look up to the most in like professional badminton? Okay. Like, for Canadian-wise, Michelle Lee, obviously, because, like, no one's gone as far as she has, like, ever. Mm-hmm. For, like, for just Pan-American badminton in general. So, definitely her. But, like, style-wise, I really like tattooing. I see. I see. Um, yeah. By the way, Michelle, um, reply to the DMs. We want you on the podcast. Anyway. Um, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> the subtle plug. Anyway. 
Um, but okay, you said you love like watching Tai Su Ying, right? And you love the style of her game. Like, what about her game do you like the most? It's just like her change of pace and deception. She's very like open to like trying different shots. She doesn't care like if she makes the mistake. She's very always in control, which I like. I see, I see. Yeah, that's actually really important in pro badminton, right? Um, so are you planning to play pro, like going pro after uh, last year in U- U19? Yeah, I'm already starting to look at internationals like in the coming months, like already. So, yeah. You know, I've noticed this trend that a lot of junior players are actually choosing to go pro now after U19. Why, why do you think that is? I think it's just, I don't know, COVID kind of took away a lot of years and a lot of people want to see how far they can actually get. And it's just, I don't know, like I've always wanted to go far even before COVID happened. But I think a lot of people are just realizing it's like there's been there was like that huge team that went to the Olympics in 2021. Mm -hmm. And people are kind of like, oh, maybe I can, too. Or like, I can maybe make it somewhere. Um, Yeah, there are a lot. I think especially um, Brian got super far in his international games. And I think it lit a spark in a lot of like junior players in Canada, like, oh, I can do this too. You know, like I literally live 10 minutes away from the club that he trains at, (laughs) you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I think it's really important to have people like that, you know, in the sport and it really pushes younger, the younger generation. And uh, my last question for you is since you're planning to play pro, um, how are you planning to balance college and playing pro at the same time? Um, for now, I think, cause I'm still going into grade 12. I want to get into university first. I don't want to like just put it off. Cause I think it's, it's going to be too hard to get back in to it and stuff, mm-hmm. but I might do like my first year and then I'll take like a gap year or I'll go part-time like Brian did. Like I'll like try and like ease off on school and focus more on badminton. I so, see, like I right see. now. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to go to university in Toronto so I can train. Cause I'm not from Toronto. Like I live oh. like an hour and a half away. Uh-huh. So, like, the main training is, like, really far from me. So, I'm trying to go to university closer to badminton so I can get better training. And just, I yeah. see. Is it, it's pretty tough to get into the University of Toronto, right? Like, that's a really good school in, in Canada. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I think Are I you confident? It. Are you confident you're going to get in? Yeah? Yeah. My average this year was, like, 94. I think I got this. I mean, <laughs> we'll see. You know, the we'll thing see. about Jackie that I like the most is that after talking to her for, for a little bit, like, last time, I realized that she's super confident in her own uh, skills and the things that she does. So that's a really good quality that she has, <laughs> uh, you know. Um, but anyway, let's jump into the viewers' question. Normally, we'll do the viewers' questions as, a, like, a second video. But because we have so many of them, we're going to put them into one. All right. Um and also you better say the Allison one too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it right now. I'll say it right now. Allison says that she misses you and she loves you a lot. And I love you too, Allison. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now, um, first question from the viewers. How long do you train in a day? Well, today we know she trains six hours, but normally. Uh, each day just depends on the training that I have. Sometimes I have private and team, like team training and whatever. And then other days I also have like ladder and fitness and stuff too. So mm. it depends on the week, but usually per week, it's like 20 or more hours, depending on what I like, if I go to training or not. Cause there's like university of Waterloo practices I go to sometimes as well. So, mm, I see. Yeah. So like, what did you do today? <laughs> it was like two and a half hours of training, two and a half hours of fitness. Mm. But today we like did Damn. this rotation thing. Yeah. It was a lot. We were That's outside. Tiring. I got sunburned. Yeah. So. <laughs> I so see. sunburned i'm so red right now you can get sunburned in canada i mean yeah are you crazy? is it that hot in canada it was like 26 27 degrees celsius not fair i don't know fahrenheit i don't oh like, oh yeah canadians i mean the rest of the world hey, uses celsius we're special that way we use everything different you know we use a different metric system yeah you're That's special. How we do it. i mean it's hot as <laughs> it's really hot today i even have to close the window because i don't want like the car sounds coming in so I'm like actually really hot in this room right now. And I have a light here shining in my face. But yeah, it's pretty hot in California, especially. <laughs> we okay, get I'll fires be- all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, next question. This Okay, there's actually two questions, but it's very similar. One is, you know, what inspired her? And the other is what inspired her to continue badminton professionally and not give up? So you can kind of answer both. Uh, Inspiration-wise, it was mostly just like, like, I just love the sport a lot. Like, uh, my coach really helped me a lot. Like, Kevin Cow from, like, Casey. Like, I've been with him since I was five. Like, 
like I've never left him and it's just him plus um I don't know my parents they used to play in university but they they're like the ones who got me into it and then I had a huge community around me and I just always loved the sport and for keep going it's just I love it like I just want to keep going it's just see how far I can get I think it's really important too that that the player actually likes playing you know and so I think we went over this with Ryan but you know it's it just makes training better too you're not like I mean of course you're tired but you know some you're somewhat happy doing it and uh Jackie's like all right <laughs> next question next one I'm wondering if you know who asked this question who's the best Asian? Frankie, <laughs> Frankie <Corbett>. <laughs> yeah, you're right. hell yeah you're right. My spider twin. I see. So you do you think she? Who, so who do you think is the best? It's just me and her that are Asian, and then Alice is yeah. the fake Asian. We always fight about. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I see. So who is it? I'm the best Canadian Asian. She's the best American Asian. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Nice political answer. Nice, nicely done. Politically <laughs> correct. Nice. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Do you prefer singles or dual matches and bounces, like doubles or mix? Uh, I don't really like mix too much, but singles and doubles. I like singles the most. Like singles is the one I want to pursue, but I do like doubles. Doubles is fun. It's just like singles, but it's just like with a partner. And it's, I don't know, I like it. Have you played with a couple partners in your um, like career? For doubles i did but i've been with christina for like six years like i've been with her the most but i have like uh, played with other people just here and there if she doesn't go and stuff i see I and see. especially like internationally like soon i'll play with like a bunch of random partners probably i see, I see. I see. Yeah. all right um do you already have somebody in mind for that or are you still thinking uh well crystal is like sometimes i might play with her i don't know yet just so she doesn't like doubles but just for fun because we're both casey oh, okay I and see. then also I did ask like Cody from like the US, like Cody. Oh, Cody, she got her eye hit. I, oh I my god, I feel so bad for her. I yeah, she, I kept putting like my minion wallet against her, like I had an eye on it. It was really, uh -huh. fun, but it's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, but there's her too. Very nice and uh, <laughs> great. Next question. Next question. Um, what was the biggest challenge for you? Like in badminton. Yeah, yeah, in badminton. <laughs> No, no, in in school, uh, in school. What is your biggest challenge in school? Math. math. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Um, badminton wise, it was just my mental. So I've always what? been like. <laughs> Did you hear I've what I said? Very, nope, you cut out. <laughs> I said that's what the that's that's the white side kicking in. Yeah, actually, <laughs> no. My dad has a I'm PhD just kidding, I'm in just kidding. computer science. He's not stupid. I'm just yes, yes. I'm sure. I'm I sure. don't know. No, uh, everybody has a subject know. that they they struggle in. But yeah, go ahead. What's your biggest challenge in badminton? Probably my mental. Like I've always been physically, and like my skills always been really good. But it's just like my head is just not screwed on right sometimes. Mm. When I, play. I see. I mean, everybody has their own challenges, right? It's just gotta you gotta face one at a time. And next question: Have you ever had any injuries that made you stop playing badminton? I've never been injured before. See, that's so, really no. good. Yeah, make sure you do your stretches. Do you just stretch a lot? No. You, we went over this. Oh, yeah, we went <laughs> over this. I was like, I feel like we've talked about this before. Oh, yeah, I told sore, I, but I don't yeah, get injured. Yeah, last time I was talking to Jackie, I was like, Jackie, take it from me. You need to stretch. Like, trust me, everybody that's listening, every player that's listening, stretch. I'm telling you, from a player that got injured, stretch. Stretching is very – or roll. Roll on the steamrolling thing. That thing hurts. Get the one with the spikes too. Don't get the foam one that's like super soft. Get the one with the 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 little like the spikes and everything. You gotta do it, guys. Believe me. If you get hurt, that's that's GG. That's like sets you back a lot. <laughs> so trust me, do it. All right. Next question. Who was her biggest opponent while playing? This year it was probably Chloe. Me and her played every single finals for every tournament we played including Pan Ams. I didn't even think that was going to happen. We ended up playing again. It was like our eighth meeting this year or something or ninth. Or, I don't know. Something crazy. Dang. I yeah. mean, that's, I, I really enjoy like playing against the same person sometimes during the final. Cause then you kind of have like this rivalry, I feel like. And like, I don't know. It's just me personally. It's mm -mm. just becomes more fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you'd rather play somebody else. Yes. 
Okay, okay. Probably. Fine. I don't, actually, I don't care. It's it, it's a person. It's just whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next question. When does she start playing? Uh, I started training at five. I started playing. I could only hit over the net at like four, but I started playing just like holding my racket and stuff at three, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like young, like really young. Yeah, that is, I feel like, I think Ryan started really young too. Everybody, like um, a lot of people are starting pretty young now, like especially your generation, I feel like. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's so, so many everybody... tiny minions running around. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, <laughs> next question. What goes on in your head when you play a tough match? Honestly, I don't really think about it being a tough match. I kind of just think, just play. Like, sh if it's like a game, I don't know if I can win or not. Like, it's like Josephine. Like, it's like a big player. I'm kind of mm -hmm. just like show, show what I have. Try and kill her. Try and see whatever. Hey, but try and kill her. <laughs> I mean, that's good. No, actually, good it's just try. Mm, yeah. She's confident. I don't know. Okay, not 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 in my math skills, but in badminton. Anyway. Yes, yes, not not in math skills. Don't ask her math questions during her tournament. Imagine if somebody just next time that you play somebody, they're like, "Hey, Jackie, do this math question real quick," and then she's like, <laughs> "That would be pretty funny." No, I, in the middle of the game, in the middle of the game, you're like, "What did he just ask me?" No, I retired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Do you believe in Jackie Dent supremacy? Adrian. <laughs> Why? Okay, what is, what is this inside joke? Because I don't under, I don't know what it is. It. He just keeps texting me that I don't know. I think it has something to do with your face when you play. Yeah, everyone says I look really mad when I play. Oh yeah, I saw a photo. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? That one photo where you're like, do you know what I'm hmm. talking about? Like they zoomed in on your face. And was I really young? Wait, I swear it's on your Instagram. I did post a photo. My brother posted on his story. Me when I was wait, a kid, guest staring a photographer. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can I don't find know if it. That was it, though. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I remember so many people at Pan Am's came up to me. He's like, "Why do you always look so mad when you play?" <laughs> he, he just wait, I swear. Something. Oh wait, oh. it's in the most. Oh, where is it? Wait, I swear, I saw that photo before. I was like, "Damn, she looks pissed." <laughs> anyway, I can't find it. Anyway, bottom line is, you know, Jackie is very serious when he when she plays. All right. Yeah, it's my game face. Yeah, it's her game face. It's her game face. So what makes her intimidating? I know. I will not show it on this. Like I don't. Know oh no 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 that. no! I'm not have... showing. Jackie, Jackie, <laughs> just wait till I get to that question. You have to show us, please. Okay. Next question is pretty nice too. All right, is she single? Yeah. Well, what what is it? I'm... I don't know. Pan Am's is weird, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll say yes. Yeah. You'll say yes? Yeah. So I'm guessing you and Andriano didn't uh, get together. <laughs> I yet. know about that too. I know everything. Everybody be telling me everything. Tell us a little bit about Andriano. What happened? I don't even know. We just kept saying we kept looking at each other, and then I played cards in his room, like with the Peruvians. We just, I don't know. We don't talk much right now either because he's just like the time difference, like six hours, and I'm at camp all day. So, like, oh, let's move on to the next question. Next question. I'm, um, I didn't think you're going to ask that one. I thought you were going to skip over. <laughs> <laughs> no, why wouldn't I ask it? I literally put it down in your questions. You, you saw this beforehand. <laughs> I thought it was like a pick and choose. Like you were gonna. Yeah. All right. Next question. All right. What's the story behind your angry face? <laughs> it's no story. It's just like when I'm focused, I look mad, and when I look mad, it's because I feel like I hit a really good shot. It's kind of just like I'm just like pumped up. I'm just like happy that I, like, it's not mm -hmm. like happy mm -hmm. face, but it's more like if I have that face and I'm serious, I'm like in it. Like you won't stop me. Like I'm, I'll just go all out. That's a good. Movie. That's how you win games. But okay, please, please, Jackie. Our our next next question, please. Can you give the viewers a game face look? I can't do it. I'm not mad right now. Please, like just try. Can we just have like a just <laughs> I'm try? Gonna laugh. <laughs> please, please, please. It's more okay, like everybody be serious. <laughs> okay, what <laughs> she just trying not to okay, it's all right, it's all right. I know it's tough when you're not in the uh, the mood. 
It's Damn. more just like a straight face, but then it's like angry with it. Like no, 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 no. I know. Like it's like, it's like, it's like that. I'm like, staring into your soul. Like I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I've saw. I've seen the picture. I I don't know which picture it was. I swear it's on your Instagram. Not my Instagram post. It's yeah, I swear it's, it's on your most Instagram. recent. Yeah. Oh. Oh, All right, so if you guys like want to, see, game face, yeah. if you guys want to see Jackie's uh game face, go 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 through her Instagram post. I don't know yeah, which one. Follow is, me on Instagram. Yeah, follow her Instagram. It'll be in the description. So description. So description. So. Last question. Last question. What is your dream? Uh, Olympics. Olympics. My like main dream is like Olympics, and if anything, like if I could place it, it that'd be like, like crazy. But just making it would be already my dream dang i mean it's it's good to set far goals right you, i mean even if you don't reach it you'll get somewhere really close and that's awesome goal i think a lot of people are having that goal right now and the next step that you have right is actually um world juniors that's coming up for you right yeah are you excited for that i am it's in spain which is kind of cool but oh, i, I want to go to spain hey the next year's that... in hawaii too really what the year that i got into world juniors it was in canada like Ooh. that's like the not nothing against canada i love Can canada i love canadians but like i no, go to canada so, i literally went to canada that year like three times for tournaments like because there was yeah. just everything everything like pan ams and 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 the world junior was in, in canada and just kind of repetitive but dang i wish i was going to spain but anyway good luck to you for your world juniors and also you know we can't wait to watch you on the big stage and in international tournaments and i we appreciate you for coming on and talking to us thank you jackie and thank you guys so much for watching all right and we out